I'm going to talk about the biomechanics analysis of basketball jump shot. It's for H.E. Steele University Human Movement Program, Professor Scott Gaines. The definition of a jump shot, according to dictionary.com, the jump shot in basketball is a shot with one or both hands in which a player leaps into the air and shoots the ball at the basket at the moment of reaching the highest point of the leap. Importance of the jump shot Requiring a high level performance, the jump shot is considered the most important technique in basketball. A two-legged jump shot consists of more than 70% of the entire basketball game. Good technique can translate to better accuracy of the jump shot, resulting in more points for the team. I am going to be doing a qualitative analysis of the jump shot. It's most used by coaches and trainers to analyze technique and form, used to improve technique of the jump shot or any movements in sports. It helps athletes with visual feedback of their technique and movement. The purpose of this analysis is going to be to correct mechanics, for example, mechanics of the jump shot, give the athlete a visual feedback, work on efficiency, compare made and misses jump shot with technique. The jump shot occurs in the sagittal plane of motion. In this analysis, the athlete will be dribbling the ball to a final movement of the jump shot. Joint motion of the ankle, knee, hip, elbow and wrist will be analyzed through the entire movement of the jump shot. The athlete I will be analyzing is Gary Harris. Gary Harris is a professional basketball player. He weighs 210 pounds. His wingspan is 6 foot 6. His height is 6 4. He played for the Denver Nuggets. His position is a shooting guard. His first year in the NBA. His three point shot percentage is 33%. And his field goal percentage is 38%. I will be breaking the jump shot in three phases. Phase number one is the preparation and stop phase. Phase number two is the shooting phase that involves fingertip control, control the ball, elbow alignment, jump, and release. Phase number three is the follow through. Phase number one is the preparation stopping phase. When the player is dribbling the ball towards the basket, he will stop with a foot forward, that's called the pivot foot. He cannot move this foot until he performs the jump shot or pass the ball to another player. Here's an example of the preparation and stop phase. In this slow motion video, you can see that Gary stops with his left foot forward, that's his pivot foot, and he's about to perform a jump shot. The shooting phase. The shooting phase involves the fingertip control, where the basketball should be controlled by the fingertips the entire time, whereas the palm of the hand does not touch the ball. Controlling the ball, the shooting hand controls the ball throughout the entire movement of the shot. The opposite hand should be placed on the side of the ball and used for balance and control until the shot is released. Elbow alignment. The elbow in the shooting arm should be close to the body and line up with the target. Jump. The athlete jumps vertically in the air to perform the shot above the defender's hand. Release. The release of the ball should be executed with a full arm extension and flick of the wrist. Here are pictures of the shooting phase. In the first picture, you can see his right hand is controlling the ball. So his fingertip is controlling the ball in his right hand and his elbow is aligned towards the basket. 
The second picture shows you the jump. The follow through phase. Follow through is a flip of the wrist and spread fingers should follow the final movement of the shot until the balls go through the net. Following the ball through with the wrist and fingers, its entire movement will give the direction to the ball. Here's the example to follow through. You see how Gary is up in the air and he releases the ball and his wrist is following through the movement and he won't put his hand out until the ball goes through the net. Here are pictures of the jump shot phases. First phase is the preparation phase. You see in the first picture, Gary is driving the ball towards the basket. He stops with his left foot forward, that's his pivot foot, and he's about to perform the jump shot. Second phase, the shooting phase, you see how he stopped and he raises his arms and aligns his elbows towards the basket. The fourth picture, he jumps up in the air. The fifth picture, he releases the ball and follows through the ball. So here's a video of Gary Harris performing the jump shot. Here's a video of Gary Harris performing the jump shot in slow motion. You see how he dribbles the ball forward with his left hand and he will stop the movement with his left foot forward, that's called the pivot foot. He will stop, jump up in the air. Here's the shot position, the second phase. He will release the ball and he will hold the follow through. You can see that he holds the follow through all the way until the ball goes through the net. Here you can see Gary perform a jump shot in a game in slow motion. You see how he will get the ball with his left foot forward. He will stop. He jump up in the air and release the ball on top of his head. Now I will be analyzed the joint motion of his ankle, knee, hip, elbow, and wrist throughout the movement. I will be analyzed his left foot and his right hand. During the first phase, the preparation phase, his ankle is dorsiflexed, his knee, hip, and elbows are flexed, his wrist is pronated. During the second phase, the shooting phase, his ankle is dorsiflexed. When he jumps up in the air, it becomes plantar flexed, his knee is flexed, his hip is flexed, his elbow is 90 degrees flexed, his wrist is supinated. The follow through, his ankle is plantar flexed, his knee, hip and elbow are extended and his wrist is flexed. Conclusion. The jump shot is a skill that involves total body movement. All the phases of the jump shot are important for accurate scoring results. A biomechanic analysis can help the athlete improve technique and form of the jump shot. Now you will see Gary Harris performing a jump shot in full speed during a game. Miles Plumley more athletic to deal with Hickson. Nuggets having trouble getting it in. They got it. Out to Harris. Hasn't been shy. Launches another three. That's good. Riddle me this, rookie. As Miles Plumley more athletic to deal with Hickson. Nuggets having trouble getting it in. They got it. 
Out to Harris. Hasn't been shot. Launches another three. Yeah. 